Hi guys, Coleman, by 95.7, and this is Three Points with Coleman. Let's go to Philly, where 29-year-old Jacob McFarlane was arrested for stealing $350 worth of sex toys from an adult store and threatening to stab the adult store employee that confronted him during the robbery. Now, Jacob was easily caught. He was staying at the hotel, literally, right next to the adult store that he had robbed. And you might be thinking, you know, that's probably why he was so easily caught. Because he was staying in a room at a hotel right next to the adult store that he had just robbed. But that wasn't the case at all. See, the reason Jacob was easily caught was because he had recently filled out a job application at the adult store that he had just robbed. The store employee that confronted him during the robbery recognized Jacob for filling out the application and submitting it and was able to call the cops, pull the filled out application, give it to the cops. The cops determined that he was staying at the hotel next to the store. They went and got a warrant. They found the sex toy merchandise that he stole and the knife that he used to threaten the store clerk. So Jacob got to go to jail. Point number one. What do you put on a job application for address when you're living out of a hotel? Well, first of all, props. You got to give Jacob props because if you are living out of a hotel, one of the first things you should be doing is going job hunting and filling out some applications so you can put yourself on a better financial path to get your ass up out at that hotel at some point into something more personally possessive like an apartment or even a shack. Anything to get yourself out of the hotel room. But it seems like Jacob had a problem with patience. He couldn't wait. Had he had waited for a call back from the store, he could have landed the job. And instead of robbing the sex store for his sex toy doodads, he could have used the money he earned working at the sex store to just buy the sex toy doodads with an employee discount. That way he can go back to his hotel room and enjoy them without having to worry about the cops looking for them. Point number two, what do sex stores do with the merchandise that's recovered when they're stolen from their establishment? Now, don't get me wrong. In the case of Jacob, he was caught so quickly that I don't think he had time to actually enjoy the goods that he had just stolen. But I'm just going to assume that most adult store robberies don't go that smoothly. So what happens in that situation? You know, you rob the sex store, and then you find the culprit, and then you find the evidence that the culprit stole. You might even find some fluid evidence on the evidence that the uh, culprit stole, that links the culprit to the sex toys that he stole. So, bam, it's an open and shut case. What do the sex stores do? I'm quite sure they're like, you know what, we'll just settle for the legal justice. We'll settle for justice taking its course. But when it comes to the evidence that you've recovered, We'll just cut our losses. Go ahead on and burn it. We don't need it back. Point number three. A part of me is relieved that Jacob decided to steal sex toys from a store to satisfy his urges instead of going to a strip and kidnapping a prostitute. Now, I'm not a psychoanalyst, but Jacob seems like the type that he has an insatiable sexual appetite. So much so that he was willing to commit crimes to satisfy his urges. So we should be lucky that the crimes he decided to commit was stealing replaceable inanimate objects instead of stealing an irreplaceable human object. My overall point is this. How cool would it be if we can all land our dream job? Think about that. If you're into women in bikinis, how cool would it be if you landed a job as a lifeguard? If you love women in high heels, how cool would it be if you landed a job at a ladies shoe store like Al Bundy? I love to talk about a bunch of nonsense. So how cool is it that I work in radio and in media? See, Jacob clearly, he clearly loved to please himself. So working at an adult store where he had access to all the high quality do-it-yourself doodads would have been perfect for him. Unfortunately for him, his urges were so strong that he couldn't just wait on a call back from the manager from the adult sex store and hear those words, 
we would like to set up an interview. This has been Three Points with Coleman, and I'm about to go score. Swish.